Welcome back everyone. Hi, if you're new, my name is Tori and today I'm moving. Technically I'm moving tomorrow, but I'm picking up my key today and then there's just a lot of running around that I'm gonna be doing throughout the day. So I have on workout gear, gym shoes, and I'm just ready to go. If you're new here, I talk about science fiction and fantasy books and this is just gonna be focused on the process of packing up books and unpacking books and getting them into my new place. So that's really the gist of that. It's not gonna be like some huge aesthetically pleasing sort of moving vlog. So we're just really focused on the books. All that being said though, I've already taken down all of the books on my shelves and then tomorrow um, is if I can, I'm gonna be filming uh, the process of moving all the books in and you know, reshelving them and everything. So it's a lot of work ahead, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited to take you guys along with me. So um, let's actually flash back to last week when these books came off the shelves and let's just get into the video. shelves have made it to their new home they look so beautiful in this space i'm so excited they fit perfectly and i even have a little bit more room and 
gonna get all set up over here. So um, I need to clean my lamp off, good Lord. So I have boxes everywhere already, so I'm just gonna basically be unpacking and let's get started. Okay, a little bit of progress. I am gonna stop eventually and like film myself rearranging everything, but I'm just trying to get as much as possible done now, but I have all my boxes here just ready to be unpacked. Oh my God, <laughs> it's a mess, but it's coming together. Hi, it's Monday and for the most part, everything is good. I mentioned that like when everything was said and done, you guys would still see these three shelves behind me. And I'm just, I'm so happy everything went smoothly. I was definitely a little anxious about moving all these books and these shelves leading up to it, but it just, everything turned out just as perfectly as it could go. So I have no, you know, no complaints about that. I'm just so happy and so thankful the way everything turned out. Yeah, now it's just a lot of books left on the floor and I just want to get these boxes out now. So that's what tonight is about. I got my wine here. I got you guys with me. So we're going to have a good time. I already got a little bit of a head start unpacking the books and restacking the shelves. I'm looking in the, <laughs> I'm looking in my display at the shelves behind me. So I already got a little bit of a head start doing that. And I had my best friend over here helping out, breaking down boxes with me, and then my mom was here helping out. So I didn't get a lot of video of me actually setting up what it looks like right now because I didn't want to like slow us all down by repositioning the camera at different angles and all that stuff. But there's still um, not a long way to go, but there's definitely still a ton of books on the floor. The shelves at the bottom especially are still really messy. And if that's not bad enough, I realized, oh my gosh, and this is actually the reason I'm filming right now so I can get footage of, you know, actually stacking the books back up is because I realized that the footage that I had of actually taking the books down and putting them, you know, to put them in boxes for the move, I really, all that footage is gone. I don't know what happened to it. It just disappeared. I sat down, I was looking at just different clips that I took with the camera and put on my extended hard drive and it's gone. I have no clue. It was like 10 minutes of video of just taking the shelf down. So that's no longer, um, that doesn't exist anymore apparently. So I just wanted to at least get something in here um, of me put in the books on the shelves again so that's really what's going to happen tonight i'll show you what you know how much is left to do what it looks like right now but um yeah for them everything else is like fine i'm looking at a mess of cords over there but really it's the shelves that it's kind of the big issue right now and quick side note you guys if i look exhausted it's because i am <laughs> like if my eyes just look like so hazy and droopy i am so sleepy and i got a lot of sleep last night i just like i fell out on my bed and i slept for a good probably almost 12 hours and I woke up and I was still tired. I kept joking with my friend. I was like, I think I have probably taken more steps in the last 48 hours than I have during the entire like lockdown. <laughs> That's kind of sad, but it's probably, it's probably not too far from the truth because we just did so, I mean, it was just so much motion, obviously during a move, it's a lot of movement, but, um, Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just so ready to kind of wrap everything up. Now I'm complaining to you guys, but I'm just so ready to wrap everything up and um, we should have fun tonight. And I'm excited to get back in the rhythm of actually like posting regular content and actually watching booktube. I've been a bad booktube watcher lately, so I need to get back in my rhythm and my schedule of watching everybody's videos and commenting and everything because I feel kind of out of the loop right now. But yeah, I'll get back on track soon. So um, let's, let's get started and see how much we can get done tonight. Hopefully everything gets done tonight, but um, let's see what happens. That's a mess up there. I'm like I'm so sweaty right now <laughs> but 
I wanted to tell you guys this. I have a ninth house candle. This is great. It says Lethe House on it and it smells amazing. I love it, love it so much. And then I have to show you guys this, it's beautiful. I need a frame for it. So for my birthday, my coworker got me this beautiful um, poster from Etsy. I don't know what Etsy shop it came from, but I need a frame for it. This is beautiful and I wanna hang it like right over there on the other side of my shelves, so.